Welcome to SDR Play. SDR Play and the RSP1A. This video is designed for people who've never really come across an SDR before. What is an SDR receiver? Well, an SDR receiver is a software defined radio receiver. And this is a radio receiver where much of what traditionally was done in hardware is now done in software. The SDR Play RSP1A hardware does the upfront filtering, amplifying, mixing and analog to digital conversion and then sends a digitized signal to the PC over a USB cable and then SDR Uno software performs the rest of the processing chain. The RSP 1A is a powerful wideband SDR and it covers the entire spectrum from long waves through short waves all the way through VHF and up to microwaves. All it needs is a PC and an antenna to provide this excellent communications receiver functionality. And you can see pictorially here, just two connections to be made. One is a USB cable to the PC and the other is some kind of antenna. So to get started, once you get your new RSP1A, you don't connect it to your PC until you're told to. The first thing we have to do is load the software. So you go to strplay.com and select start here from the menu along the top. Then all you have to do is follow the prompts, entering purchase information, your operating system, which could be Windows 7 or Windows 10, for example. And uh, you, you may have to disable antivirus software, some of which do uh, object to installing new drivers. You then register your device and then click here where it says, please click, click here for the SDR Uno installation. There'll be a question to make sure you're not a robot and then you click on start download and in the bottom left hand of your Windows screen you should see the progress of the software being uh, installed, uh, being loaded into your downloads folder on your PC. Once that's completed click on the little up arrow and uh, click on open. Say yes to allow SDR Uno to run on your computer and accept the license agreement. At this point, still make sure you haven't connected your RSP via the USB cable yet. And uh, wait, because we have to wait until the driver has been uh, installed. Still following the prompts, accept the default file location, click next and STR Uno will automatically install on your PC. You may get another warning screen uh, saying that Windows can't verify the publisher. Uh, you just say that's OK. Um, and then when you get this message saying connect your RSP and allow driver install to complete before starting STR Uno, it's good to wait 30 seconds just to be really sure that the driver is ready and alert to when you plug in your USB. You click um, and then plug it in, click on finish and STR Uno will launch and lots of windows will automatically appear and arrange themselves on your PC. And just accept that arrangement for now. So we now have your RSP and the SDR Uno software on your machine, all ready to uh, pick up signals anywhere from long wave up to microwaves. Let's start uh, with a short wave example. For short wave, um, for example, the 49 meter band, some 10 or 12 meters of PVC coated multi-strand wire will work very well. If you can get it outside and away from strong sources of electrical noise. You'll probably want to get some proper connectors and maybe extension coax pieces 
Uh, but really just to show the principle here, you can get started simply by connecting um, a wire antenna to the central uh, contact within the coax socket. Uh, just strip away the plastic coating from the end of the wire and insert two or three strands into the center hole of the coax socket on the RSP1A, taking care not to short against the outer of the coax socket. Connecting another length of wire to the outer of the coax allows you to ground the unit, which will improve the signal strength further. You can Google RF grounding methods for many excellent articles on this topic. Tape the connections carefully. For a more permanent solution, we recommend buying connectors or lengths of coax cable to connect from your RSP1A to a convenient point near the outside world. Additional matching devices may further improve reception, but this basic setup should work well as a starting point. Arrange the wire to be spread out and as high as possible above ground. Cable ties make excellent supports. Keep the wire away from metal objects or conductive surfaces as much as possible. Even with this simple wire, you should start receiving some shortwave signals. So it's time to start listening. We recommend using a mouse with a roller wheel because the roller wheel becomes your tuning dial. Press the green play button to start the receiver. Look out for the bands button and select broadcast, then the 49 meter band. It should default to 6050 kilohertz. And in the main spectrum display, you should see signals <clears throat> With the default settings, move the mouse to the frequency display. Rolling your mouse wheel will tune whichever digit you hover over. 0.1 kilohertz is a good one to choose. The default settings for amplitude modulation, 8 kilohertz audio bandwidth, gain levels and so on should be OK. But now you should be inspired enough to start watching the video guides and reading the manual. If you happen to be in Northern Europe and just a few hundred kilometers from North Germany, during the daytime, you should be able to pick up Radio Mi Amigo International on 6085 kilohertz. And the link there is a little video clip on YouTube to uh, show how it looks in operation. So this is just the beginning of an exciting journey into SDR. You can join the Facebook group to find out what others are doing with their SDR Play RSPs. Exploring different antennas um, is great fun. And particularly if you have restricted space um, and need a, an indoor antenna, a magnetic loop or mag loop for short is uh, highly recommended. You can just Google mag loop antennas for shortwave to get lots of information on these. And people on the Facebook group will also have opinions and ideas and techniques, and you can even build your own. There's lots to explore in the radio spectrum. There's weather maps, there's satellite images, TV images, slow scan TV, numerous messaging and uh, data systems. There's air traffic control, the plane transponder information, and so much more that you can explore. Lots of Examples can be found on the SDR Play YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and search for SDR Play. As well as the huge community that's growing around SDR Play and all the help and advice that uh, those users can offer, we have our own uh, documentation which can be found under downloads on the website. So sdrplay.com, go to downloads. And under documentation and software, there is the SDR UNO user manual. For more general support, go to our support tab on the home page and in the drop down pop up, as well as the documentation we saw just now, uh, you'll have links to a very useful resource, which is our applications and support catalog. The applications and support catalog 
is a searchable catalog with links to not only our own documentation, but a lot of useful uh, third party help on SDRs in general and specifically to using uh, the RSP family. The other very useful link from the support tab is the support center, which will actually raise, uh, allow you to raise a support ticket direct to SDR Play, which we will respond to as quickly as possible. And we'll give direct support to anyone who has an RSP, wherever it came from. Um, however, of course, if you did get your RSP from a local distributor, they may have local language support, additional help uh, relevant for your particular geography. The full list of our resellers uh, can be found under the contact tab uh, by clicking on distributors. Happy listening, everyone, and thank you for watching.